Hey there, this is James Darknell from The Foundry, and I have just a quickie little tutorial, something I wanted to show you here when using replicators. So I was talking to one of our users last week, and he says, you know what you guys need to do? You need to implement some way when using replicators to rotate individual replicator items. He says, that would really be an awesome feature if you'd be able to do something like that. And I said, wait, you can already do that. He was like, what? I didn't know you could do that. So I showed him how to do it, and I thought this is something that's probably relatively unknown and would be a good information to share with the entire community. So let me show you my scene here. What we have here is a point cloud. Let me get my vertices here and I'll select them just to highlight them so you can see them a little bit better. Uh, and then I have a replicator here. And I have the prototype is these BG fruits. That's the background fruits and my point source here. And if we look at all of my fruit here is I just have several different fruit meshes and I've placed them into a group here. So what's happening is by doing that, the replicator is just randomly pulling one of those pieces of fruit uh, inside of there. So regardless, what I want to show you is there's actually two different ways that you can transform individual replicas in a replicator array such as this. So the first way is to convert the replicator into instances. So the way that we do that is we select the replicator and we go up in here to item and we'll go down to replicators and we can freeze that replicator. So we give that a second. So you can see the replicator is now gone and it's turned into a folder and this folder is just filled with a bunch of instance items. But this now gives us the ability to take one single item and we just hit the transform there and we can rotate this guy to our heart's content. So that's fine when you don't have too many replicators, but if you have something where you're using millions of them, that's really sort of a, a no-go and you want to individually adjust one or two objects in there. So the other option for doing this, let me undo here and get our replicator back a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a vertex transform map. And what that does is it stores transform information directly in the vertex map of the point cloud. But first we need to add one of those. So what I'm going to do is select my point cloud, make sure we're in vertex mode. And then I'm going to go into my list viewport here. We're going to go under particle maps and I'm going to create a new map. And this one is going to be a transform map. I'll just leave that at the default name and press OK. And that adds this transform map inside of here. So now I can just select a single vertex on that. And using the standard transform tools, rotate, scale, uh, and move, I can just hit E for rotate now. And you can see I'm able to rotate individually that one object while still retaining my replicator. You can even go in if I hit R there and you can scale that and basically transform it to your heart's content. And it's a way to control individual replicators. So that's actually two different ways that you can actually transform your replicated objects. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.